All right, guys, back at Kings Island here today, Saturday, June 26th, and we're here to have another good day. Temperature's a little bit different today, a little muggy in the 90s. Uh, looks moderately busy like the other day, as you see the fountain behind me here. So let's get busy. Let's have another good day. See you on the other side. Heather. Here we are on the carousel. What's going on, people? Getting on the carousel here. It's starting to look a little cloudy. Possible rain in the forecast. But uh, we're going to make the best of it regardless. So let's take a ride on this carousel. Heather having a ball. Don't let her say otherwise. Why don't you just smile and act like you're having fun? See, she's having fun. When she says no like that, that's what's going on. She's being secretive about it. I'm not being secretive about it. I'm having a good time. Any day above ground and outside the home, hey, I'm good. I can't tell if I'm in screen or not, but anyway, here we go. Let's, let's take a ride on the carousel here at King's Island. And that means go, people. Some of the architecture on the carousel is beautiful here. The horses, the landscape. workings of the horses that has been around since early 1900s. Just a simple rod going up and down as the engine on the inside right over there is the one that does all that. But yes. The old carousel. Always a relaxing time, cool breeze on a hot day, with the tower right over there. Always a great time, thanks for taking a ride, see you on the next one. So while here at Kings Island, and you want to play games but you don't want to break the hearts in order to play that game. You just go right here. Kings Island has it all. They have games for all ages, sizes, and people. This is the one where you knock the cans off of the thing with the ball there. This is the car race, where you roll the balls up into the contraction. It tells you fast, slow. And there's the race right there. The cars are going backwards at this point. This one here is the balloon pop. Balloon pop is an old classic game. This one here is the whack-a-mole, which I think is, doesn't look like it's on, possibly out of operation, but someone is working the booth. And it's the whack-a-mole. And then all these wonderful prizes they have available for you to win at these games. They have some moose, some type of unicorn, 
everything right here kind of has King's Island associated on the prize itself. Over here we have Play Until You Win. It's the bowling ball game. So you take it and roll it, get it over the first little hump, and hope it doesn't come all the way back over the hump. And you are a winner if the ball ends up just like that and not like that. That's how you want to play your football game? This here is the broken plate game. So you throw baseballs right there to break plates. These are some of the prizes you can win here at this game. And then we do have... Oh, this guy's a little too excited about his job. We have the shocker chair. If you feel brave, get you a game card. Come here. Sit in this car. Or sit in this chair. Man. Jesus Christ. This guy's got the loudest voice I've ever heard. This is a huge crane game. I guess you just win a bunch of tickets in a bag. This feels like air conditioning inside of here. But there's more more of these games on the outside such as I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Winner every time. I guess you pick a number. These bags right here. And you have these things. I'm not sure what this game is even called. Here's some more Bust the Balloons. That's probably a winner every time as well. So the old classic Bust the Balloon. And you have some of these prizes up in here. Yeah. Some neat little prizes. Some of the rainbow unicorns and little monkey monster things. That looks like a little dragon of some sort. Unicorn. Sloths, even along the Halloween decor over there on the Little Witches. Right here is the football toss. Generally, something uh, I like to play when I'm here, and I probably will try and give Heather the uh, honors of doing this, holding the camera while I'm playing. Hopefully, she can capture exactly what's going on. I'm sure I will play the game. So, I'm going to cut this off. I showed you some of the games Kings Island has to offer. Uh, we'll get a few more that's out in the midway. In the meantime, I think I'm going to play me some football. Five dollars to play, 30 seconds for seven throws, winner every time. One in wins a small, two to four wins a medium, five of six wins a large, seven to seven wins choice. Alright guys, Heather's going to have his camera, so good luck. Apparently I get... What? Apparently I get seven throws. I gotta make a lot to get something I want, so. Oh no, these balls feel weird too. Zero. Oh. That was good. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Here goes this shit again.
you got one. <laughs> Overinflated plastic balls, guys. Blaming it on something. It ain't me. I promise. And this game, guys, is prizes that fill your whole back seat up in your car. But it's also one of those good luck on your win because one of the most impossible games ever. Little red rings on these bottles. One of the absolute hardest games in the world. But you do get stuffed animals the size of your living room. And this game is one of those games that you can be embarrassed at. As it is your age and weight. You want people to know your age or weight? Step on up. Whether you think you're light or heavy, old or young, this is where it sets them all apart. Get embarrassed on your weight or let everybody in the world at Kings Island know that you're an old guy like myself. Old and fat, this ain't the game for you. And I fall right into that category. $15 to play though. Okay. You got that? Yep. Get the throwing. And she's won nothing yet, guys. You don't want yellow. It's official. She's no good at this game. There's a blue. It went over towards the pink. And last ball. She has two blues. Alright, you got two blues, so get one just for playing as well, which means you get three small prizes. Hang it down for you to receive. If you play again, you get one more. If you get two more blues, you trade up for a medium. Those are the mediums, aren't they? Yes. Those are the mediums right there. That's up to you. And I'd have to get three more. So two you more. You get you one for playing. Oh. And you still have the possibility of getting a green cup if you play again. Or even a pink cup. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, I got to put more on here. Look, I only see? Got $3 on yeah, here. there she goes. Shut up. There she goes, guys. She's spinning it all up. Here, let's get all of her information and put it on YouTube. <laughs> so she's going to try and trade up and get to the next prizes, guys. So we're going to watch her throw these balls again into these cups. And there's one blue. One more blue and she gets a medium. I don't know why she's throwing it all the way on the other side. Gotta worry about getting a blue.
and she's not going to get a medium prize. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right, guys, we're here at Coney Barbecue, and I have decided to get the pulled pork sandwich, in which they absolutely hooked it up. That's the most pulled pork I've ever had on any sandwich at all. And one of my favorites here is the mac and cheese. Although, most of the time pretty creamy, a little bit dry today, but no complaints. Heather, how is yours? Yep, she has the pulled pork as well, mac and cheese. So uh, let me dig into this before it gets cool, which is probably impossible considering it's 95 degrees out here. Um, and I'll tell you how the meal ends up. And then after this, I think I'm going to go catch a ride on Orion. All right, guys. I'll let you know about this food here in just a moment. All right, guys, Coney Barbecue definitely did the trick today. Very good food. Mac and cheese was on point. The pulled pork was on point. There was so much pulled pork, in fact, there was enough to make two sandwiches. We ended up eating half of that pulled pork by itself in the tray. So yeah, anyway, great meal, now we're off. I think I'm gonna go jump on Orion. Oh, 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 Orion. Be my first time getting on this year. Here we go. By the way, did I ever mention how, how much I love this area right here? With all of the crazy lights and things, and I guess they do something here at night. Pretty crazy. people just got off of Orion I think we're headed over to the train take a nice relaxing stroll through the other parts of Kings Island so we're right here by the tower head over here by back lot and Diamondback get over to the train station Still hanging in there, 90 degrees out here, or a little more. Orion's just as awesome as ever. These full trains feel a lot better than the half trains we had last year. My first ride this year. So, I'm gonna get on the train, get a little footage on there. See you in a few, guys. Here in line for the Kings Island Miami Valley Railroad. And Mr. Timbers just took off back in the woods. But, uh, yep, we're over here to jump on the train, take a relaxing ride, probably go hit the back. Maybe another ride or two, and possibly call it the day. So, appreciate you all hanging out. And we'll be talking to you on the train. 
right, so now we're on the Miami Valley Railroad train ride here at Kings Island. So once we get back here a little bit, I'm going to give you some history on Kings Island. So Kings Island was opened and built in 1972. And in the year of 2022, Kings Island will be 50 years old. So, some of the rides that were here when Kings Island was built is Woodstock Express, better known as Beastie. Uh, also, the racer was also put here in 1972. That coaster opened with the park. Whitewater Canyon ride right there. Mystic Timbers as we are passing. Sometimes you get a nice view of the coaster coming down through here. But not today. Not on this ride. Coming out of that tunnel was so fun. So another little neat thing about Kings Island is there is apparently a young lady who haunts Kings Island back here. I am not sure of the full story, but uh, go ahead and ch check out that and see if uh, you can't find the story on that. I know there's some documentaries on YouTube and elsewhere about that specific thing, the hauntings in Kings Island. It appears that they are running one train today. It is on a Saturday, which is a little surprising. Overall today, the operations are very good. The crowd is moderate, busy. Nothing crazy or insane, which is surprising on a Saturday. But the train is full speed ahead. So, I appreciate you guys joining us today, as we still have some things to do, and a few more rides to ride before we get out of here. Might catch one more meal as well. Go ahead and use up my meal plan, as that has been a rarity this year, and take advantage of that meal plan and my pass as last year was tough to do so so stay with us guys we'll be right back Just remember that you do need a reservation for the water park this year as of June 25th of 2021. So if you plan on visiting the water park at Kings Island in 2021, just remember you need a reservation for the water park. And that about does it with the Miami Valley Railroad here at Kings Island. Thanks for taking a ride with us today on this hot, hot, humid Kings Island afternoon. And 
we'll see you at another area of the park very soon.
to Orion, and I'm gonna get one more on there, and we are out of here. So, let's head over that way. Appreciate you guys watching. And, uh, hey, let's go get one more trip to outer space before heading home. On our way out of Kings Island, Heather's got her some sun. She's pretty red. I'm sure, I got me some sun. It is quite a hot day. Some wind has helped cool us off. We have drank mostly water today. You gotta stay hydrated. But a definite uh, better experience than the first two weekends here. For a Saturday, operations are very smooth. Very little waiting in line for food or drink. Ride lines aren't ridiculous, except for Flight of Fear due to the heat. So overall, a great experience here at Kings Island on a Saturday. I'm not one to beat around the bush, I'll tell it like it is. And that's the truth. It was a really solid Saturday, probably one of the best Saturdays I've had here at Kings Island. So, hopefully I'll be here sometime over the next week and provide a little more footage. Until then, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Peace out.